Ah, toilet humour, eh? Is there no end to the fun and hilarity it can bring? Well, in today's video, I may try and prove that that's possible. As you can see, in front of you, uh, or in front of the camera, because you're not in my house, uh, and if you are, then you're probably listening to this right now and you won't need to watch this on YouTube. Anyway, in front of me, as you can see, are four things, uh, I'm sorry, Snow Trooper, are four things that are called, hilariously, the turds. Also, there's top ten tips, which I'm not going to bother with reading out. Anyway, a bit of backstory to this. I was 13, I was just getting into collecting stuff, and there were these things called the turds that, as you can tell um, on the front of this limited edition collector's box, all reference kind of pop culture and stuff. There's a King Kong one, there's Saturday Night Fever, Hannibal Lecter, you know, people, stuff like that. It's what, it's what Funko Pop is these days. Really shit things that some people like. I know that was that was quite the boon there to Funko Pop. Uh, but no, seriously, they are terrible. Anyway, so um, this is just when I was getting into collecting. So these are like twelve years old or something, um, which is around the age I was actually when I collected these. And I was like, oh wow, yeah, statues and stuff. That's my jam. That's what I'm gonna collect. And so I bought four of them. As you can tell now, I'm probably getting rid of them or giving them to someone I know who would want them. Uh, I feel pity for that person, whoever that may be. But anyway, so, before I get rid of them, I thought I'd show them off to you and how... Alright, they are. They're not bad. And I don't imagine there's many videos on YouTube about these things for, for obvious reasons. Anyway, I'm going to jump cut now to the first one and I'm going to show you each one individually. Uh, starting with my least favourite and ending with my least least favourite. So, first up, we have truly the best timestamp uh, for when these were made. Does anyone remember Gandalf? No, seriously, who doesn't remember Gandalf? Well, this... It's not even a kind of status symbol, culture-y kind of thing. It's just Gandalf's just well-known. Anyway, he is from Lord of the Rims. <laughs> and he is... Oh, no, hang on. Oh fuck, where's his name? Is that at the bottom there? Nope. Oh, there's a website if anyone wants to visit it. I don't know if it's still going. It probably is. It's born in the boldy middle... middle girth? Middle girth? Because your intestines are where poop comes from? Uh, date of dump, August 1938. Was that when the first Lord of the Rings book was published? I want to say it was, but I may be wrong. And he lives in the Dyer. That's not even the Dyer. So, what? That's not even, like, funny. Anyway, I'm not going to read out his biography because, again, I don't want to waste my time on this shit. Um, it's weird that he doesn't have his name here. Um, I think he was, like, Gandalf the Brown or something. Anyway, I'm going to open him, open him up. And we'll take a look in a second. Uh, right. So, as you can see, he's quite a big thing, though. Also, one of the reasons I pulled him first was his staff was broken. Eee! Oh, bugger. Hang on. Eee! Okay, that didn't fall. Anyway, as you can see, that's a toilet seat. Or was that a rectum? Is that actually meant to be a rectum? I never actually thought of this when I was younger. I was just like, oh, it's a toilet cleaner pink thing. But now I kind of think, also, yeah, there's, like, metal inside that keeps it like this. Now, I believe I actually bought it like this, and being the chump I was, they were like, oh, don't worry, it's half price. And I was like, wow, that's a great deal. Uh, and, I don't know, Lord of the Rims, so he doesn't have a name. Or does he? The Turds logo, and piece me... Ah, 2004. There we are, so that was 11 years ago. Fucking hell. Wow, so I was 20... Tw well, no, I was not 20, I was 12. Okay, um... Right, well, he is a brown turd with some... You know, with, with, with some beard on and stuff. Also, his arm is coming off or not attached very well. This is 
possibly the faultiest one I've got. And also in his other hand is toilet cleaner. Because, you know, if Pooh became sentient, they'd want to wield the thing that fucking kills them. Well, doesn't kill them, evaporates them, I guess. And, of course, he's got the ghost tail thing, which, honestly, if these were white... Uh, no, I'm not going down the route of dog poo here. If these are white, you could maybe get away with being, like, pop culture ghosts! Or something like that, because there's nothing about this that really looks, you know, totally poo, sort of like... It's... Oh, I'm really discussing, sort of, the nature of, of excrement in great detail here. The first video I've ever done this, and probably not the last. As you can tell, like, the modelling isn't bad. Like, his hat's got the stitches on and stuff. It's... It's such a shame. It's wasted on such a... I don't know, such like a small appeal kind of thing. Also, I, for the longest time, had these in the corner of my room. Like, covered by other stuff. And I'd honestly forgot about them. And when I saw them, I was just... I just questioned myself that where was I going to display these? To who was I going to display these to? Friends are going to come over. Oh, you never guess. Let let me show you my turd collection, which is not not a good way to make friends. Just saying. Um, but yeah, overall, Gandalf the Brown. Let's call him that. Is you know he's actually no sorry. Let me just go back for a second. Lord of the Rims is his name. Because there's another character coming up who straight up has a name. So this isn't from the series Lord of the Rims, that is his name. So Gandalf the Grey was the Lord of the Ring. Zzz. Right, well done Turtico. I am back with a smaller one. This time slightly smaller than Gandalf the Brown. Uh, this time, well you'll see in a second, but... Honestly, this confused me when I was younger because I thought it was meant to be Neo from the Matrix. But, as you will see, it is not. It's Mr. Brown from Reservoir Bogs. Born Boulder Barrett. Buttside Central. Wow, Buttside Central. Was there any thought? Like, did... Wow, that... Um, August 1970, I think that's when Reservoir Dogs came out. Born of twins and being orphaned. Oh, Mr. Pink, yeah, I guess. Although, in terms of, you know, excrement, Mr. Pink sounds like there's blood in there. And if you've got blood in your poo, then go to the doctors. Like, no, pause the video and go, no. Just, we'll wait. So... I don't know. I, I assume he's meant to be from Reservoir Dogs, because when I was younger, I didn't know what that was. Um, being 12 and somewhat. I wouldn't say sheltered. I think I just straight up never bothered with films like that. Uh, right. Okay, then. So, we have Mr. Brown. Now, again, if he was white and meant to be, like, a ghostly figure, I think he'd look... All right, he would not look bad. Like, I don't know. the The detailing is really they have gone to town here. There's like there's a button there. They've molded a button under the tie, which is sort of like you know pretty well molded. I think he has eyes. Uh, I mean, the glass is probably stuck to the eyes and stuff. Like, I don't think it's actually any detailing. He's got two guns. One of them is filled in. Which isn't going to help when you're shooting. Um, I mean, the guns themselves, like, they don't look bad. They're, they're really well detailed. Also, like, the price point for these was something like £15. Which, you know, I mean, it's not cheap by any means. But it's definitely not that expensive, especially for the quality. Uh, we've also got, you know, sort of the ripples of the sh suit and stuff. And... Um, yeah, overall, like, this guy, you know, legit is really well modelled. I just don't know if Pooh is the best way to express my love of one of Tarantino's best films. Now to be a bit topical, in a way, sort of. Does, has anyone heard of that new sci-fi film that's out recently? That's right, the third Star Trek film has been announced. 
Wait, no, hang on. Shit. Um, no. Oh, I mean this guy from the, that other star film, Starship Troopers. As, as we. Fucking hell! I forgot about his name. Okay. No. Right. Here we have Fart Vapor. Although he is, he's poo. He's not vapor. Vapor is by by default not a solid, and this guy is very clearly a solid. Um. Right, well, he was born bolder black. Are, are all of them born bolder something? Yeah, dated um, June 19, 19, 1977. Was it June he came out? I want to say it was later than that, but eh. Um, and lives are known. Or lives are known. He had one before. Generations know. Many turds believe that the bowl has a dark side. What? That's not even creative. That's just... Wow. I mean, you know, props to the guys that made these. They really put some attention in... Ooh, hello. Oh, is this a certificate of authenticity? Oh, oh wow. This is number... 1030. Also, as you can see, it's British only. Or, I guess, this is the British version of it. I don't know if this ever existed in the States. It probably didn't. Or maybe it did. Um, oh, I was meant to write my name there. I hereby certify that blank, having satisfied the condition of insanity by purchasing... Th so, like, I don't know. I've, I've never understood gross toys and sort of, like, stuff like that. And, I mean, you're probably all wondering, why the fuck did you spend all this money on these? Well, I think two of them actually bought for me when I was younger. Not to say that I didn't appreciate them at the time. I... You know, rather like these, I think, at the time, because uh, it's funny and 12. So, uh, no, I thought there was something else in there. So here we have the Lord of the Dark Side of the Bo Right. So he has a toilet plungery, whatever the fuck they're called, sort of loofahs. Um, again, much like Gandalf the Brown, why does he have something specifically made to get rid of what he's made out of? Um... But, again, they've put a lot of... Oh, well, there's moulded teeth, which I never noticed. Well, that is too close. Oh, OK, then, my camera's not having this. But, I mean, he's got lots of little lights and stuff on his chest. Got a big hole in the middle of his chest. Because why not? And he has a cape. A sort of moulded cape. Also... On the side, he does look like he is the opposite to a member of a particular uh, hate group back in the 70s and 80s. If you look at it purely in uh, whatever the in profile, um, but yeah, so he's also got a buckle with the YouTube logo on. No, I my kid, that's a play logo. Why does he have a play logo? Um, and yeah, and he has other utensils on his thing, and again, fart vapour, because as we know, vapour is actually poop. I mean, there are particles, I guess, in it, but he seems pretty solid and not made out of vapour. But yeah, so, you know, again, this is sort of moulded absolutely fine. I, again, if, actually, well, no, if this guy was white, he'd look really weird, um... But, yeah, so that's Fart Vapor with his segmented, like, top to his hood, which is weird. Why does he need that? Uh, I don't know. I've clear. I mean, also, they never give a name to the film he's from, which is a shame, because what would be the absolute easiest poo pun for Star Wars? Um, fuck, I don't know. I... Honestly, I don't know. I can't think of anything. Uh, Star Bowls. That would probably be it. That would. Uh, that sounds likely. Um, right, on to the last one, the special edition. And we're back with the special edition figurine. The uh, really big box. And as you'll see, well, I may have taken the padding out when I was younger, actually. I don't know. But, oh, hang on. There are, is there stuff in here? Yes, there is. Huzzah! Um, oh, is this, an, that's, this is a certificate of authenticity too. This is number 1336. Ah, 
one off, one off for being the most elite turd collector. Wow, that, that sounds like I'm trying to insult myself but didn't quite get there. And there we are, there's the holographic, the turds thing. Also no British flag this time. So is this for worldwide release? Also, I've just shown you the name of the figurine. Uh, if any of you eagle-eyed viewers looked at it. Aha, I on, wait. Oh, fuck it. I, I'll, I've already ruined the surprise. His name is Rimbo. <laughs> oh. Oh. So... He's born Bowl de Putang. Putang? As in the clan that ain't nothing to fuck with? I. Date of Dump, July 1947. Was that when the book was published, First Blood? First Blood's a really good book, by the way, if uh, any of you ever get a chance to read it. This, um, that's not on topic though. Lives in Amazon Bowl. Again, it's... Does he? No, he doesn't. He, like... Oh, he resides in the fucking forest, doesn't he? Uh, also, there's a bit of a rip there, but... Oh, well. Also, yeah, infectious fun is everywhere. Every time you close one of the packages or... A... Oh, they're called log books. Log is... You know, it's that famous joke about Star Trek toilets being clogged up because the captain's log or something. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, out of all of them, I will say this is the most ridiculously detailed. Um, I think simply because, like, they've really gone, you know, overboard. Uh, so that says Rimbo there. Maybe. Or Rab, Rabe, maybe? Rabe, good old Rabe. Um, yeah, so he's got like the modelled gun and stuff. Um, and then he's got all his ammo clips which go wildly around everywhere. He's got his little grenades, he's got. Uh, oh, he, oh, he's got a dagger, I never noticed that. Well, there we are. There's. He's got his belt, and he's got lots of toilet roll around. So are they grenades? Toilet rolls are grenades now. So, is that meant to kill other poo citizens? I don't know. Also, he has four fingers, but that's cool. Well, three fingers and a thumb, if you're being pedantic. Um, but yeah, I mean, sort of a theme with all of them here is that they certainly went above and beyond to detail poo, to make sure that you're going to have a disgusting collection, but that disgusting collection is going to be moulded pretty nice. Um, I'm not a big collector of figurines, admittedly. I prefer, like, um, pausable things. So, it may be that figurines at this price point are actually this detailed in general, and maybe I just wasted my money as a teenager. But then, who didn't as a teenager, really? Um, but yeah, well, okay, that... That was a video. That this is definitely one of the lowest points of uh, the topics for videos I've ever made. But I'm not ashamed of it because this is like ten years ago, and I've moved on from then. I now collect Star Wars Lego, which actually a lot of adults do anyway. Also, before we go, like, isn't this adorable? It's Christmas mall with some snow in his hand and a shovel, and a snow trooper because he lives on Hoth. Yay! Let's see, yeah. R R two D five? No, R four D five. Is that R four D five? I may be wrong. But he has a lovely top hat on. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for sitting through and enduring all of this. I do have a few ideas for videos coming up, but nothing filmed yet. So you may be seeing this in August twenty eighteen or something. Depends on I feel like uploading it. But until next time. Um, you know, don't, don't commit any crimes.